Hi, my name is Wayne McIntyre. I'm a software developer on the Active Directory team. And my name is Linda Taylor, and I'm also a software developer in the Active Directory team. In this video, we are going to be doing a demo on the new changes in the Active Directory database format. This now supports 32K database pages and 64-bit long value IDs, which essentially allows us to store a lot more data. If you haven't seen our technical takeoff session for what's new in Active Directory, we also recommend watching that for more context on this demo. So, so here we have a domain controller in the contoso.com domain, which is a VNEX domain controller. And by default, the feature is not enabled and it runs in what we call 8K simulation mode. So it just pretends that it still has 8K pages for compatibility reasons. Right, so since the feature is not enabled, what we're going to try and do first is add some uh, multi values to an object in AD and confirm that we can't write more than what's expected to fit on an AK page. So, first we'll try adding 1200 values to the Linda account, and this should succeed because you could probably fit about 1248 values if it was an AK page. We'll just confirm that. Next, we'll, we'll add a number of values to my account. And we'll, you'll use a value that we're for sure will exceed the 8K pages. And we'll just go with 1,500. And we should expect this to fail. And it does. Here we go. So um, what next? So now we are going to show you how to unlock the 32K page mode by enabling the optional feature in AD. Um, but first, let's talk about some requirements that must be met for that to happen. So Wayne, do you want to um, show them? Yep, so we're going to go over to the configuration context and look at where optional features are stored in AD. And we're just doing it the hard way to make it more interesting. Um, you can also dump out optional features using PowerShell as well. And we can see here we have the new uh, database 32K pages feature. And it's going to require at least a forest behavior version of version 10 for the next version of Windows. There is also an additional requirement for the feature to turn on, and that's going to check a new attribute on the NCDS settings object of each DC in the sites container. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. So under your server, I have just two, two DCs here. And if I look at the NTS settings of DC1, there's a new attribute called MSDS Jet Database Page Size, and we can see it's advertising support for 32K pages. Yeah, and when you enable the feature, obviously you don't have to go and check all this yourself. It will automatically do that for you, but we just wanted to show you where it lives. So um, let's go and enable it then. So I've pre-populated the parameters. It enables just like any other AD op optional feature. Um, in this case, you want to set the identity of database 32K pages feature and set the scope, target, and server um, per your environment. Yep, and then you want to run enable AD optional feature with these parameters. And we're going to go ahead and enable it. And it will give you the warning that this is a one-way operation. Once you switch over to 32K page mode, you cannot go back because it's possible you've written beyond the 8K page mark. And uh, that makes it irreversible. But let's go ahead and do okay. it. OK, so now the 32K page feature should be enabled. And we could go back and try mm. to add um, let's even add more than 1,500. We'll try adding about 3,000 and see if that works now. And I just want to point out that you don't even need a reboot. So that's pretty nice. And now you can see we've added 3,000 values to the Wayne account successfully, and uh, that's well beyond what would fit on an 8K page. Cool. So um, one last thing that we could show is um, that there is a new uh, root DSC capability to 
help us calculate a record size if we ever needed to. So let's go and try and do that for both of these objects. So we'll first look at, and it's actually on the object itself, but the constructed attribute for the uh, jet record size. So you can now investigate uh, specific details of a specific record and size. And it should be jet, jet record so, size three. And okay. here we have the Linda account. And there's some interesting values to look at. Uh, for one is the multi values, which shows we added the 1200. Um, plus there's probably two there beforehand. There's also CB data and you could use these values to kind of calculate the size of the record in, in the database. Next, we'll look at the Wayne account where we added a lot more records. You have two commas after Wayne. Yeah, I see it. Thank you. And so if we look at this value again, uh, you can see the number of multi values is 3002, which makes sense. We just added 3000 values to the object. Um, the long value data overhead is going to be a lot more because we're able to store a lot more long values on the actual record. And that Great. is the 80, uh, 32K page optimal feature demo. Awesome. Thank you very much.